how do people so it's a uh, a wintry Thursday trail run today um having a bit of a, a negative week this week not feeling myself um a bit down a bit low it might be due to overtraining and lack of sleep and whatever not getting good sleeps keep waking up all the time so this week I'm going to chuck in an extra rest here on Sunday and Monday on my first two day shifts back at work that's my plan anyhow so I decided to get on the trails because I've uh, not done any for a while and it's always good to break up the training not sure how far I'm going to go today as it started snowing um, I'll just see how it goes yeah <laughs> we're in weeks, not every week's a good week so I take the lows with the highs got uh, races coming up soon as well first one end of month 10k race, uh, fell race, and then it ends with a uh, an assault course. <clears throat> Still doing the uh, strength sessions as well on the evening, but not tonight. As I'm back at the dentist. Hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed. Touch wood. I'll put an end to it too thick because it's miserable. I think that's probably it right there why I'm down because I'm pissed off with too thick to be quite blunt. There's Amazon over there. I've got my, uh, my night trail shoes on and my feet are freezing two pairs of socks <sighs> I've got free bird on, on my ears I don't know why I've got it because I don't really like it and it goes on for about two years doesn't it? Ah. Not a lot of standing room <laughs> oh. So last night strength session it got changed up a wee bit <laughs> My god, we got beasted, I tell you. It was hard. It was uh, three stations. There was a kettlebell station, a dumbbell station, and a uh, car station. Well, after the first, it was like a pyramid workout as well. They do 10, 20, 30 for. I think it was a minute oh no no it wasn't it was five minutes each each station <laughs> my arms are tired to say the least right nearly at the brick train I can stay on my feet and off my ass <laughs> and this bird you can't change I thought the paths, uh, the trails would be a bit more harder going than this I thought it would be frozen but they're quite slippery where the quad bikes have been and whatever
it's still coming down. Oh, I can see. Free the train as always. There's been the brick train. There's some buffoons done donuts and a quad or whatever. Just tearing it all up. Spoiling it. There's a bloody big massive field down there. Just go down there and go around and around in your circles. It's not about you joggers that go round and round and round and round. <sighs> so, got lots of uh, Ideas for next year's holiday for Thailand, places to visit, how to visit. So, looking forward to that. What to do when we get there? <sighs> Ta, thank you. Oh, seems right. All right, peeps, I'll leave it there for now. I'll catch up with you and I decide what I'm doing and how far I'm going. Next bit's a little bit of a uh, pavement for about half a mile and back onto the uh, the slippy stuff. Right, see you later. Ta there there's an abundance of wild garlic here so I'm on this area now down and this is this uh, part is called broken scar it runs adjacent with, with the river and it's also part of the Teesdale way or the Teesdale walk on the coast to coast. It's popular for dog walkers, mountain bikers, uh, runners, hikers, kids in the summer. It's quite uh, quite slippy. So I'm having to watch the pace. Just keep it nice and slow. Watch me foot on his low because there's lots of uh, uh, old old walls that are actually in the ground. Let's stick up and uh, clean your ankles and stub your toes on. And there's a river, the river wet, because it's wet, I forgot what it's called to be honest, we just call it water, river water source, or the water source river, I'll just shut up Nick. Uh, quads are feeling a little bit tired. <clears throat> but, 
I'm enjoying it a bit more than uh, doing the same old routine routes, pounding the pavements day in, day out. Something different to look at. A bit more concentration on what I'm actually doing when I put my feet. Whoa. Skiddy room. Stinks. Stinks of shit. <laughs> It's not too cold now, but I've only got two layers on. I'm borrowing it back. And a uh, a technical long sleeve t-shirt to wick away the sweat. <sighs> Alright peeps, leave it there for now. I'll catch you later. So I'm just going to the end of uh, this little route A broken scar It's cold, it ends at the uh, at the dam The dam dam Up there I don't know if you can see it There's me uh, It's been a nice uh, run my battery's running low, bloody hell, a bit steep. My battery's running low now on my uh, toe sack and phone. So, it might run out by the time I get home. It's all to rely on the shit bit fit bit for all my stats. There we go. Mighty river. Thought I was still selling my dollar per ship there. Don't put it. It wasn't. Uh, so I'm going to carry up here, past the waterworks, uh, into Cockleton, the Danes, and then probably Albert Hill, and then home. We hope. Still snowing. I've not got the Antarctic snow yet, but that's got a wee bit heavier. But it's good because it keeps nice and cool. I actually leave it there to wrap it. Way, <laughs> it's very, very slippy. Underfoot, oh. and there's lots of baby's heads. Baby's heads are these, uh, these tufts of grass. That's what we used to call them when I was in the army. And you spend you a lot of time tripping over them when you're on uh, exercise. Boy. When you're on exercise, yeah, so baby's heads, peeps. The squad is enemy, just to make life that bit more uncomfortable. So this is a, I think this is my last section, small section of the trail, and then the rest of it is the p -p -p pavement. So I'm just going to be entering a uh, Cockleton, I think it is. Yep. Not sure how far I've gone, let's have a look. There's nothing else you can do. Two seconds while I uh, log on. So look. So, a little over eight miles done so far. One hour 13 seconds. Thank <laughs> you. 
it is cold but and now the uh the snow or the drizzle whatever it is it's coming in sideways before it was uh, head on behind me and now it's sideways so there's only one side of me getting wet I want to go around this corner and be head on right peeps leave it there catch you later I'm just running through uh, Cockleton now and into the Dean so this is trail part of the run finished and uh, about five or six mile no, not that far about four mile left to cover on pavement like I said I'm going to go for the Dean and then uh, that's all I feel. How do we keep so? Turn about the camera work. So I'm going through the Danes. I'm going to go the muddy side of the Danes this time. Flipping ducks. <laughs> Big pig in chins for us. <laughs> uh, bit of a steep incline coming here, short sharp. God. Alright peeps. I'll save it for the final furlong due to the battery running low. And I'm knackered. <laughs> Catch you later. Tira. <clears throat> now this is the end of the Danes, the last part of it. Whether the apiary is, they keep the bees, the beehives, they make this honey and you can buy it here as well in the summer. It's quite nice though, I got lots of them last year and the year before. <laughs> People, I'm knackered. Quad the feeling it now. Heavy, tired. Trying to get it over with now. I had quite a good breakfast this morning. I had a Thai omelette with rice. I knew I was doing a big run and it's cold, so I had a warm breakfast and followed by a shake. I wasn't too sure how far I was going to go but I'm starting to get a bit of a rumbly in my tummy now so uh, legs are numb it's not that cold it's just I don't know wet and cold <sighs> right should leave it there for now 
and I will pick it up later on. Yeah, I'm gonna go up Albert Hill. So out of here, left, right, straight on, uphill. Alright, that's enough babbling. Catch you later. So this is a hour bit of hill. Feeling it now, peeps. Getting tired. <clears throat> About 12 miles into the run now. Well, that feels longer. I've enjoyed the, uh, the off-road sections. Tripping and sliding around. Different routes. Try to keep it fresh as I can. Yeah, or a diesel and whatever. So I've got about two miles. Take it home. So this one might be a 14 mile. Alright, I've got to leave it there for now. Catch you later. Thanks for watching. How do peeps? So that's me at home now. Uh, nice and warm. Getting warmed up in front of the fire. Cat wants to go out, it's crazy. Uh, so that was a little under 14 miles done, half trail, half path, freezing. Right peeps, thanks for watching, catch you later, ta -ra.